Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now today's tip is unique. I don't think we've ever done a video like this one. In this video, we're going to give you an extra two inches, an extra 50 millimeters of X-axis travel on your mills. You don't want to miss it, so stick around. Everything for me begins with my setup sheet. So check this out. I've got a block loaded up. Now if you're tightening up those tools by hand, Okay, so we, we can't really stretch out the iron on your table, but what we're gonna do is, is pretty close. We're gonna move our table probe, our OTS here, to the right, closer to the edge of our travel. And this is gonna give us more room on the table for stuff, for vices, for larger parts, that kind of thing. Why did you buy a VF3 in the first place, as opposed to a VF2? Probably for the extra travel, right? The extra space. And if we've mounted our table probe too far to the left, we're eating into that precious square footage. Right now, I've got a four inch diameter shoulder mill in the spindle, 100 millimeter diameter. And if I wanted to probe this tool for both length and diameter, it would come down and it would probe from the front and then the back. But what it's not gonna do is probe from the right side. It never probes the tool from the right side if we've calibrated the probe properly. And then again, if your probe is on the left side of the table, it would never probe from the left side. This is why we choose our setup direction from the setup screen during our calibration process. Because the tool never comes from this right side in this setup, we don't need a bunch of extra travel there. We don't need that extra space. To move our table probe over just a little bit, we just need a handful of tools. A two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a four millimeter Allen wrench, and a three eighths Allen. We'll also make use of a 10th indicator and our probe calibration tool, which is just a tool with a known length and diameter. To remove our table probe from the machine, we've got six set screws that have to be loosened up with our two and a half millimeter wrench. We got one, two, three, and a, a fourth one right here. And then we also have two set screws, one here and one here, that, that pinch the pin that protrudes from the base. Once those are all loosened up, the whole unit just pops right off. Now, anytime you pull off your table probe and put it back on, you've got to recalibrate this thing. You'll have to put an indicator on it and make sure that the unit is level front to back. With your indicator going front to back, checking for level, we can adjust the rotation front to back in the Y axis with these two screws, these two two and a half millimeter Allen wrench screws. And as far as left to right roll, uh, making sure that your indicator is leveled that way, we'll, we'll tighten up or loosen these uh, two four millimeter bolts here on the base. Next, all we've got to do is take our three eighths inch Allen wrench, loosen that bolt and slide it over. But here's a million dollar question. Where should it be and how far? Can I slide this over? I'll just put this guy back on for a second. No lead in here. Uh, the, the number is 19 millimeters. We need the tip of this probe, rather the center of this probe, 19 millimeters in or three quarters of an inch in from the edge of our travel. Here, look at this. We'll take our calibration tool and jog it down above the probe tip. We'll then jog it all the way to our machine zero, X zero. Once there, we're gonna jog it back to the right side by 19 millimeters or three quarters of an inch, 0.75 inches. Once there, we slide our tool probe right underneath our calibration tool till things line up. And that's where it's gonna live. So we jog our calibration tool all the way. We bolt everything back together with those you know, set screws. Once that's done, we have to be sure to line up our probe stylus again. We, we, we use those leveling screws to level both the Y and the X axis uh, for that, and then we're done. Now all we've got to do is calibrate the table probe, uh, being sure to select a proper uh, table position. On next-gen controls, we might choose a one or a three. We're using a one uh, for this template right now because our table probe's on the right side of the table. When we run this cycle, it only needs to come at this table probe from the right hand side during this calibration process. When we're actually probing real tools, when we probe a drill, when we probe an end mill, or even a great big giant 100 millimeter shell mill, 
When it's probing those tools, it never approaches the stylus from the right-hand side, so we're safe. But it does approach the stylus from the right-hand side during the calibration process, which is why we need that 19 millimeters or three-quarter inch of travel. Calibrating our probes is something that we should all get good at, and we've made lots of videos on calibration, so be sure to check out the links in the description. And remember, moving our probe on the table is just one small step in the calibration process that we should do. So the next time you calibrate, move that table probe over and gain some valuable real estate. That is it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.